Brian Taylor, congratulations there. An emphatic victory here over Kilmealy, 1-9 to 26 points. That's huge scoring. You came out of the blocks flying it and you got into an early lead and you never looked in the rear, rear view mirror after that. Yeah, definitely. Uh, you know, super win. Um, you know, I don't think we were too heavily fancy coming into this game. Um, you know, a lot of, lot of new young lads in the panel. Um, yeah. A lot of retirees this year. Uh, probably six or seven lads retired this year. Um, so, yeah, just, you know, we kind of last year with the relegation kind of helped us uh, blood a few of the younger players and uh, had a tough uh, couple of games last year. Definitely stood to us today. So, yeah, yeah. We got off to a good start and uh, got into a lead and, and kind of maintained that till half time. And we seemed to kick on then. Uh, we really focused on the, the third quarter. And, yeah, we kicked on and, uh, yeah. yeah, really, really good win. Really happy with the performance. Yeah. Now, as young as you're talking about, I wouldn't recognise the names there looking at the team at a first glance. Like, but they are really blending in with yourself and Peter and the, the bigger lead like, you know, it's a shame. Absolutely. Mac- yeah, 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 yeah. I mean, uh, you know, we've kind of... Uh, the age profile of the team is definitely a lot lower than it was last year or a few years before <laughs> yeah. that. So and it's good, you know, the likes of Derek Yo there coming in uh, had a super, super year with Tulla, uh, yeah, William Harty, um, yeah, yeah. you know, Dono Sullivan there in midfield, super, um, John Keneally centre back, you know, so it's re- really good uh, to blood these young lads and, you know, you need them coming through if you if you want to compete at this level. So yeah, really, really happy with them and happy with the performance overall. Yeah, so you're, you're in a good place now, you got the four points from the first two games, that's all you can do, that puts you in a really yeah. strong position now of getting up into the quarterfinals absolutely yeah you know we're, we're taking it one game at a time and uh, yeah. you know it's probably yeah hopefully it will will we'll be true to the quarter but you know we still have another big game in two weeks uh, against the Rome so uh, you know not not an easy group by any means but uh, yeah. really happy with the two games so far yeah it's it, it's early August Ryan do you like playing with the club now this time of the year this new how does it fit in yeah with I your... suppose um, talking to a few people some spectators don't seem too happy with it uh, I yeah. prefer if it was was going on until September but um, yeah for me I, I like it uh, you know um, yeah getting the, the uh, inter-county out of the way and, and start in April. To be honest, uh, it suits me. I, I like it anyway. I'm not sure how everyone yeah. feels about it. But, uh, yeah, no, I definitely um, like it and, and enjoying it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. When, when you came off the championship there with the county team, like, it's good to have to be able to come back to your home club and Absolutely. pick it up again. Like. Absolutely, yeah. Do you know, um, you know, it was... I think we had a couple of weeks off uh, from Intercounty until our first championship game. So, you know, we got a week or two off and, and get back in with the club then, you know. Yeah. Uh, it's grand to, to get stuck back into it anyway. Yeah. yeah. You've Aerog now in the next round, isn't that right? Yeah, Aerog next. Um, yeah. So, yeah, that'll be two weeks' time. Yeah. Aerog and, will uh, be hungry for uh, absolutely. success. Uh, the, you know, the Prince Gareth today, the, but they, they'll still need the points. Absolutely. You know, they're a super team. Uh, you know, this, this group was... When I when I saw this group at the start, it was you know it's yeah it's I, hard you know I mean call. all the groups are fairly tough, but yeah. I, I thought ours was particularly you know yeah. Kilmainy and Rogue are, are two good teams and a lot of experience in, in both their teams, so yeah yeah, yeah massive challenge again. Um, so yeah we'll yeah. probably enjoy tonight and uh, get back to training during the week. Yeah, Kilmainy were very impressive against their Rogue, especially in the first half against their Rogue. You held them to one nine, you put twenty six over the bear. I mean that must be a huge confidence boost. Yeah, you. definitely. You know. Um, Yes, I, you know, uh, and there was a good spread of scores too. You know, they weren't too reliant on on Peter as we probably had been uh, through the years. So yeah. it's nice we we seem to have a spread of scores and some really talented hurlers as such. And uh, yeah. yeah, no, it's it's uh, it's a good score, and you know we're doing a, putting a lot of work during the during the weeks off. So yeah, no, it's it's definitely yeah. paying off, and it's good to see. And just a, just a word for Brian McInerney, the other poor creator. He's he he had a bad shoulder injury, and now he's going off with a knee injury. So it's very unfortunate. Yeah, it's very unfortunate. Uh, Brian only. Got back training there in the last two weeks, and you know he'd been yeah. absolutely flying it in training. Yeah, and uh, probably was very close to, to breaking with the starting team today. And you know, just to see him come on there and, and go off with what, what looks like a nasty uh, yeah. knee injury, you know, was yeah. really disheartening for him. But uh, you know, yeah. knowing the man he is, I'm sure he'll be he'll be back to back uh, to work next week. Best you know, of the best of wishes yeah. to him. Yeah, yeah. Ryan, congratulations. We'll talk to you later on the championship. I've no doubt about that in the, <laughs> the latter stages. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> thanks, 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 Ryan. Thanks, Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Thanks, Bye-bye. Thanks. Bye